Hello, hello everyone. Greetings again and welcome to this new lesson. Through our discourse so far, we have learned the reason why it is important to design and the importance of design in our lives. And once we got that, we got our hands dead a little bit to see how it is like to express ourselves as artists, to express ourselves with art and to express ourselves with visual communication. So through that exercise, we used elements to design. So for example, you realize that we use circles and other forms of shapes to design. So making the design or designing in general is just like cooking a soup. The final result, the final product is something consumable. It's something one can just enjoy at once without paying attention to the little elements inside, the little ingredients used inside. But as the cook, you can't just make it happen. You definitely need to bring together all the elements, all the ingredients. And not only you have to bring them together, based on the type of soup you are preparing, you know the type of ingredients, ingredients that are required or that are needed. And in addition to that, you also know in which order to put the ingredients, in which proportions to put the ingredients or use the ingredients. So the same thing happens with design. When we are designing for the end viewer, it is a general perception they have of the final result. They have a final sensation of the work. But to you, the designer, it is a composition of so many elements. So that's why in this section of this course, we are going to explore what we call the elements of design. These little, little elements that are used in every single composition of design. And I would like to remind you here, before we go further, that when it comes to researching on the elements of design, you will probably meet many on the internet. And from one article or from one book to another, People might mention five, six, seven, ten, or even more sometimes. So in this course, we will not take too much time to explore all the possibilities of elements of design. So we'll probably explore a few.